Hey guys, so new card game just released. It's actually still releasing. Super pre-release ends in September and I think its full release goes in October. Uh, the game is Union Trade Arena. It's becoming very popular very quickly. I'm not going to lie. It's taken over a lot of people's uh, channels and really it's the Facebook group has exploded to 4,000, um, 3,000, 4,000 uh, members very quickly. But uh, what I want to discuss here today, I want to watch an, a game... A demo game maybe we can learn and get better at uh, the super pre-release maybe we can see if we can actually uh, gain uh, some value from watching the Eggman playing one of uh, the Ichiko versus the the Hunter x Hunter deck but I also want to show you guys very quickly this release schedule you're gonna be able to basically play with Union and Trade Arena all your favorite characters you're gonna be able to build decks and I think the way they release these sets is they're gonna release every set uh, of, uh, see October, September, they're going to release Bleach. Also, they're going to release, uh, release Hunter x Hunter. But then later on in November, they'll release Jujutsu Kaisen. And it's almost like once every two or three months, uh, every month or two, they release a new set, which is a little bit uh, overwhelming. Yeah, as you can see, it's literally once every month. Uh, or once every month and a half they release a new set and the whole set is basically going to be a bunch of new characters So I think it's going to be extremely popular very quickly once the set that you are waiting for comes out You're probably going to be involved in the game very quickly and the sets just keep coming out And uh, I think the game is going to develop very quickly very fast and it's going to be very exciting to see uh, and I want to just uh, go ahead and help maybe see if we can help you guys win those super pre-releases I haven't been able to go to any super pre-releases We only have one LGS here in uh, Wichita, Kansas that actually runs the super pre-releases So we're going to probably have to wait till October And all, everything has been already sold out So I'm probably going to have to wait till October to get into the pre-release but for now guys i want to show you guys the eggman playing against uh, the strongest wizard both of them have really big uh, youtube channels and we're going to see uh, how these decks are working we're going to try to comment as, and maybe we'll learn how to actually win the super pre-release now i did hear that the ichigo deck is a little bit weaker than the other uh, hunter x hunter deck not necessarily because uh, the deck is actually bad. It's actually very good. It has a lot of utility. Uh, you can draw a lot. You can move uh, a lot of cards around in your in your zones, and uh, it's it's really really utility based. You can you have removal. You have impact. You have raid. There's so much that you have. Uh, so you still have all the good uh, keywords. You just it's just a little bit different. It's a uh, a little bit weaker now the, the hunter x hunter takes a little bit longer to get to its six uh six energy cards uh whereas the maximum cards in uh the bleach deck is i think five energy cost so as you can see bleach can come out a little bit faster uh the cards from bleach can come out a little bit faster and that's probably what balances the game out but i believe the hunter x hunter cards are just for now, because they're in a deck, demo deck, and you can't change the demo deck out, they're just a little bit better for ramping, and they already basically catch up with the other decks. As long as you draw into your important cards like the Leroy and everything like that, you'll be able to catch up to whoever is in front of you. But right now, as you guys can see, they're doing a little bit of movement, and uh, I think they're going to start the game very soon. And yep, they just started the game. We see that Hunter x Hunter deck is to the right. I believe the Bleach deck is going to be to the left. You can see it from their mats as well. A lot of production went on to this video. <laughs> There's a dog also, but you guys can't see it. And uh, yeah, let's see how this game is going to develop. I'm actually very excited to see this. I also like how many lives Union Trade Arena allows. Seven lives, that's a lot of lives. So you, you, you actually get to play the game. You don't just have to kind of rush into the game. You get about 10 turns every game. So Gone is going to go ahead and start with some energy in his sideline. Comes out rested and then he's going to unrest it when he ends his turn. Uh, whereas Bleach, because he's going second, he's going to get two action points. So he's going to be able to play two cards potentially depending on how much energy he gets to play. So that's the first action point. He gets one energy. No, is that two energy? I think that's two energy. I think that's an energy ramper. I could be wrong. That could be two energy in his sideline right now, which means he can play... No, that's only one energy. 
Okay, I believe this is two energy and this is one. So right now he has a total of three energy, which is insane. Like he just ramped up so much faster than the Hunter x Hunter deck. Let's see how Hunter x Hunter is going to balance things out. He immediately moves forward. So, but there's really not much he can attack. I think he only has 500 damage here. Does play something in the sideline. Does play his Leroy. His Leroy is huge. This is going to help him out a lot. And, okay, he doesn't actually attack any units. He just goes for the life. Really smart. Let's see what uh, Eggman wants to do here. Now, I don't know if Eggman is supposed to restand his units and he's just forgetting because the dog is there because Strongest Wizard is restanding very quickly. You can see Eggman has uh, started his movement uh, phase and he moved the Ichigo forwards. I believe the Ishigo has about 3,000 power, so it's very strong. can kill out this uh, little uh, Kurua. And Eggman has to take a break to go take care of his dog, I think. Comes right back. Still not movement. Uh, I mean, the movement uh, is over now. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, wait a minute. Why is it sideways? So, it's sideways because he just you, you utilized that energy... To play another card. No, I don't know why it's sideways. Maybe it actually plays something when you set it sideways. I'm not sure what that, what this card does. But uh, and also wasn't wasn't Eggman supposed to get one more action point? Maybe maybe I'm I'm wrong. Maybe I'm forgetting the rules of the game. Maybe you wait one more turn. Alright, let's see. So, I mean, honestly, Ichigo's field looks insane right now. It looks completely developed. The problem is whenever he attacks, he has to, I think, sacrifice that card in the back. But, wow, look at how strong this field is looking. I'm not sure why he didn't just attack with both his cards. Maybe this couldn't attack this turn. Yeah, I think this couldn't attack this turn, whereas because this moved forward, he could attack with it. Um... That makes total sense now. Yeah, yeah. If you play something in the in the first zone or in the upper zone, and it's played in that same turn, you cannot attack. But if you move something from the sideline to the upper zone, then you can actually attack that same turn. So let's see how Hunter x Hunter now with three action points. Can he actually catch up? Because this is really looking bad. He has four energies in his sideline, four energy uh, sources. Let's see what he wants to play. I see he has, I think, a draw in his hand. He does have that Gone Frisus, uh field as well. Okay, so he gets two more energies onto the bench. So now his bench is completely full and he has to play something into the forward zone. Now the game is interesting, there's so much movement, there's a reason they're not attacking into their champions, because the movement is, uh, I mean, it's it's not that impressive to attack into a champion, because you just, si you pull whatever is in your sideline forwards, so I think a little bit early on it's better to just hit some of these uh, live points, and as you can see, Gon Frises was able to ev raid into the bigger one moving forwards and then get that attack through now what i think eggman is going to want to do here is trying to get rid of that gone phrases i think he has the removal necessary for it he is did he hit a trigger i'm not sure what trigger he just hit but that's game that's the turn for uh, strongest wizard let's see how eggman comes back i think he's going to go after the gone phrases the gone phrases is just so big right now that you need to kind of control it now there is a way for you to control it i think he has removal in what is Ichigo, but right now it's really proving that Hunter x Hunter seems to be the strongest deck, even though, I don't know if it's just because he went first, but he just has so much more onto the board than the Eggman, but now the Eggman has three action points, he has all the energies he needs, plus he has two, two units in his... Uh, forward zone, frontal zone, I'm not, I'm not sure what you call that zone, guys. I know there's a sideline and I forget the main stage wasn't. I forget. But uh, I'm not interested in the, the words. What I'm interested in is the technique, the strategy. That's what I'm interested in. So let's see. So we do drop that double uh, energy resource. 
So I'm not sure what's happening here. Why did he have to use two action points? So the first action point was for what? Oh, the first action point was to play that first energy uh, maker or energy, uh, what do you call source? And then his second action point was to play another energy source, but this one is a double energy. And his last action point is going to be the Ichigo because it's only for four, correct? And he has four in his sideline. Wow, smart idea. He uses the Ichigo that he just played down to, ev uh, to raid into uh, the four cost Ichigo, allowing him to just move it forwards and attack with it that same turn. Really, really impressive. Oh, looks like uh, looks like uh, Gon Fresses was able to block. So actually, the Ichigo is so much weaker than the Gon Fresses. The Gon's at four thousand. The Ichigo is at three, and he just couldn't do anything. That's actually interesting. So strongest wizard did really good there, shutting down the Ichigo. I think that's another reason why Ichigo deck is so bad, or at least it doesn't compete at a high level because their cards are weaker. You need that plus 1,000 BP. Oh, there's the removal from Gone Fresses. Wow, that's huge. That's what Ichigo was supposed to do. You're supposed to remove his Gone Fresses with a removal card. But it looks like Ichigo didn't draw into what he needs. Now we have... Uh, I don't know why we actually moved that Kurawa forward. There must, must be a strategy for that. But wow, Hunter x Hunter is looking just so much stronger right now. He has all the blockers that he needs. He has all the energy uh, sources that he needs. And there we go, uh, Eggman had to block and lose his Ichigo because the Gone Fresh is, is just too strong. And right now, Eggman is at 4 life, Strongest Wizard is at 5 and honestly I didn't see anything impressive that Strongest Wizard did. There was no impressive play that he made. I mean besides being able to drop down 2 Leroy's, 2 double energy sources, that's pretty impressive. But besides that, there's really nothing. So right now... He has six energy in the back end, in the sideline. That's imp that's amazing. That's all the energy he's ever going to need, especially with the action points he has. I mean, that's going to be very impressive. I think, I think, okay, well, well, let's look at the Eggman right now. Eggman got his Ren out. Ren is the biggest card he has. Ren removes cards when it comes, I think, down. And then he was able to attack, but then we got blocked. That's fine. Just move on to the next step. I think uh, Eggman's uh, hurting here a little bit. He's not able to catch up to the Hunter x Hunter deck. Look at this. Hunter x Hunter right now is at six energy re resources. Hunter x Hunter got his second removal on the second strongest card in the game for Ichigo. First was Ichigo, the, the raid Ichigo. The second was the Ren. Those are insanely strong cards and uh, got strongest with it. The Hunter x Hunter deck did not have any problem removing them. Let alone, I believe he could have just attacked into it because he has the, the go on fresses, which actually gains BP. It gains battle power. So we play one more sideline. Actually, move the sideline forwards. Because we don't need anything there. And... Um, wow. But the problem is now Strongest Wizard has no more cards in hand. So he needs to start taking some hits so he can actually add cards in the hand. Now, this is another thing that's happening right now, guys. As we're speaking there, even though Eggman is taking much more damage, what's happening is his hand is looking so much bigger, so much stronger than the strongest wizard. So the Hunter x Hunter deck is beating Ichigo right now, but slowly it's putting itself in a deficit. Because it's not, it doesn't have the draw power. The problem is once Eggman starts attacking into the the strongest wizard and giving him cards, it's gonna really push him to victory. So I think Eggman has to calm down on attacking life, and has to only care about taking care of that Gonfresses, the big raid Gonfresses that's on the board. That's what uh, Eggman should be worried about right now. We're gonna add some energy resources in here. I'm not sure for what, oh, to be able to play that removal right there. Perfect, perfect timing for that removal. And I, I'm assuming we're not even going to attack life. Oh, we are going to have to attack life because we cannot actually attack his units because our units are so weak. So I'm not going to lie, guys. If your units are so weak that you can't even attack into a gone, the smallest gone, fresses, 
But it makes sense. Why would you even attack him to the gun first? Because he could just move that to the sideline, uh, whatever is in the sideline fo forwards, and he can just get those attacks out anyways. So we'll see how this goes. We get the attack. We get a trigger. Trigger allows us to play something from our hand and keep the trigger in our hand. We played it out. So we did get to play out a card from our hand, which is... No, no, actually, we didn't. We didn't. That was weird. I don't know what just happened. Actually, we did play a card from our hand. I'm not sure what these triggers do, guys. I'm not sure yet. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the overall gameplay. So what's happening here is Strongest Wizard... He recognized, okay, I don't want to, I don't need to waste energy. All I need to do is just move cards to the, from the sideline forward so I can start attacking. And uh, that's all he's going to do now. He is going to get blocked hard, but I think one or two of these attacks are going to go through. Or he's going to be able to shut down a couple of the Eggman's attackers. Oh, that's going to help a lot. Removing one of these big blockers is going to help a lot to get us through. Let's see, are we going to be able to get through? I don't know. We attack with our weakest cards first, so he has to block. Eggman has to take that big attack because he doesn't want to lose any cards on the board right now because he needs to retaliate really quickly, really strongly. Ichigo from the trigger allows him to raid into an Ichigo, which allows him to block again. Wow. So when you raid into Ichigo, you, f you just forcefully stand, even if you trigger it. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Okay, guys, we're getting really close here. Hunter x Hunter does not get the raids that he's looking for, whereas... Eggman got double raids, which is absolutely impressive. He also got the removal he needs. He also got the Ren. So Eggman, to be honest, drew all the cards he needs, but also Strongest Wizard got all the energy uh, sources that he needs as well from Leroy's. Look, he has three Leroy's in the back end, which is literally perfect. But uh, I don't know what he's going to be doing with those energy sources because he only has one card in hand. <laughs> he really can't do anything. Uh, he needs to take some damage here so he can play the card cards in hand out also Eggman has to fill up his board here so we're gonna see the sideline probably move forwards unless he needs energy sources okay now I think he has four sources plays one card in order to reduce to restand one of some of his action points and then he's going to what is that Ichigo a third Ichigo that's impressive that's very impressive. Third raiding Ichigo with a Ren as well. That's unbelievable, guys. And he's able to do that because he's making four energy sources all the time. Now, uh, the problem is Strongest Wizard does not really want to take a block any of these hits because there's no necessary need for it. He needs card in his hand and he doesn't want to... He doesn't need to block... Now that uh, that card is really strong. Every time he triggers it, he uh, he's allowed to play something from his hand for free. Okay, there we are. That's it. Just two attacks. Yeah, we only had two attacks because everything else was played this turn. All right, Eggman now only has one card, one life. Does have a full board, and the board can actually block everything on the strongest wizard side. How is the strongest wizard going to be able to retaliate? Doesn't have any card. Oh, he did draw into a gone fresses, which is crazy. Wow, he literally top decked the gone fresses. That's insane. He needed that because he didn't have any damage to go through. Like literally, none of his cards would go through. But now Eggman, I don't think uh, Eggman can actually block that gone fresses. Of course, Eggman is not gonna take that life. He's just gonna block. Wow, is that guy so strong? Oh, yeah, it is a 3,000. Yeah, it's 3,000. So I think it's a vanilla. So he literally had to pick which one, which card he had to... Well, I don't understand why he didn't just block with the Ichigos. Wait, wait a minute. Does Ichigo cannot block? Is it possible that Ichigo cannot block? I think Ichigo just couldn't block. I'm not really sure why we didn't just block with the Ichigos. Yep, and he gets one more attack through with the final card here and wins the game. So, as you guys can see, honestly, Hunter x Hunter deck just seems a little bit more powerful. Now, you do need more draw. I, th I think the reason it's more powerful, it just has literally more BP. The cards are so much cheaper. It has the same BP as the Ren. The Ren literally costs like four or five energy. 
And the, that little Leroy, the two energy sources Leroy had 3,000 and was able to beat it. Like, I think that's the problem with this deck. The Bleach deck just does not have the BP power to compete with the Hunter x Hunter deck. That's what makes the Hunter x Hunter deck a little bit more powerful. But I didn't see Strongest Wizard really do anything special. He did get the removal out early, which helped him out a lot. But uh, it just doesn't seem like it would have changed anything, especially if those Ichigos couldn't guard anymore and block anyways. But yeah, guys, I'm, uh, I think that's going to be it. Uh, what do you think about this game we saw now? Uh, I was, I'm hoping to help you guys in your Super Pre release. I'm also trying to learn, as you guys can see, I don't know a lot of the keywords. I don't know a lot of what the cards do. I don't even know what the name of the zones are yet. But I'm really interested in the game. I mean, the releases are going to be a little bit too heavy for me. There's going to be so many releases coming out so quickly. But the game looks like so much fun. And I'm excited for it, to be honest with you. I get to play any favorite character I like. You're probably going to see a lot of support for those characters. And I don't know. I'm excited for the game, guys. I'm interested in your opinions. Which deck would you like to play? Which deck do you think is going to be the winner for you? And... Uh, to be honest with you, that's it here.